Hey everyone, what's good? Mattia here. Welcome to monthly news number 55 from One Army, the foundation tackling global problems through projects. And last month you were destroying me because of the terrible sound of my <laughs> previous video. So this time I bought some uh, fancy gear and hopefully it's better. So do let me know in the comment if this time it works better. Um, so this month in August, the IPCC report was released. And this is basically a big ass uh, research paper where thousands and thousands of uh, scientists got together to analyze uh, research papers on the climate uh, for the past 10 years. And it's basically a 14,000 pages report on the climate um, at this particular stage in 2021. And to be fair, it looks pretty dire. It's uh, uh, a lot of depressing facts in there. But if there's one takeaway for us at One Army is that we do need more people involved in challenging the status quo, in working on projects that are tackling global problems and in dedicating their lives to, this, uh, to these issues because, uh, well, <laughs> the current situation is pretty dire and we need more and more people to be working on these kind of challenges. All right, so let's dive into the One Army news, starting with uh, precious plastic. Uh, back in April, we released what we call the Community Program, which is our own attempt to sort of grow the movement from the outside in. And as part of the Community Program, we have uh, two, two layers. One is the Allies, and the other one is the Verified. Allies are basically everyone involved in the Precious Plastic community. And the Verified are the people that are outputting the top-notch, best recycling work throughout the community around the globe. And these are people that have been with us for a very long time. They have gathered the necessary experience or they do have the, the, the training to really be able to put out top-notch, incredible recycling work. You know, this can be making really good machines, uh, very good educational workshops, very nice products, and really pushing the whole movement for, uh, forward, really pushing the boundaries of what's possible within the recycling uh, within the local recycling movement that Precious Plastic is trying to bring about. And, you know, throughout the years we have been observing our community and we kind of know, uh, we, we have a guess of who are the most active and proficient uh, workspaces out there. And, you know, we do want to start and, 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 and help them more to, to grow and to improve and to uh, better their outcome so that they can, they, they can, they can become better at what they do they can you know, grow their team, they can employ more people, they can recycle more plastic, they can earn more money, and eventually they can become the inspiration for the newcomers within the precious plastic uh, movement. So we have drawn a first list of verified workspaces. Um, this is by no means complete, it's just the beginning from our own experiences, uh, but the community is growing incredibly in the last uh, years. So we know that we might have missed out someone, but that's no problem for that because you can go on the academy and you can apply to become verified. So let me introduce you uh, the verified workspaces that we have selected. So we have Bob, of course, Brothers Makes, Joan Plasto, Easy Mold, El Tornillo, Utoplast, Crea Kregi, Kunstenschmiede, Zelenu, Precious Plastic Shanghai. Precious Plastic USA, Recycle Rebuild, uh, Precious Plastic Lancaster, Recycle Re Le Recycleur Feu, sorry, I can never pronounce that laundry, Precious Plastic Melbourne, uh, Peter Bass Machinery, Samsara from India, Joy Burnau, Precious Plastic Ukraine, Precious Plastic Philippines, No Plastic Sunday, Precious Plastic Bangkok, Necologica, Robris, Smelt, Plus Plan, and Still Life. So that's the first verified group. That's just the beginning, and more people will be added as, as we move on. Once again, and we really want to stress that this is not the final list. This is just the beginning. So if you think you should be there, or you know someone that should be there, make sure to go on the academy, get on the form, and apply to become a verified. For the past year, we've been working on a new project in Jordan, and this time it's in collaboration with the royal family, so it should be a lot of fun. 
And a very interesting element of this project is that we're going to be creating a precious plastic recycling workspace in Amman, which is going to be run entirely by women, which is a very sensitive topic in a notoriously men-driven society, as it can be in Jordan. And so we're trying to bring along some recycling innovation alongside social change. For this particular project, we've been collaborating a lot with verified workspaces. Uh, as an example, we made these very nice beam molds together with Easy Mold. Hey, it's Fritz from Easy Molds. Um, we make molds for the precious plastic community and encourage companies to use more recycled plastic in their products. So this month, we made this um, nice beads mold for precious plastic and develop it together with them. Um, and you can actually make 50 pieces in one injection shot, which is quite impressive, given the simple machines we're using here. Uh, Peter Bass Machinery will make all the machine that will go over there. And Rory from, uh, from Recycle Rebuild uh, made our uh, brick mold. So this, is, this goes to show how we want to help and support more people within the community so that if we get some client, we want to funnel some of the money to them so that they can do more of, more of what they do and hopefully grow their team, you know, uh, grow their earning, make more money and recycle more and bring more people into the movement. This past month, we also released a new support page for Precious Plastic for all the beautiful souls out there that want to support the project. And of course, you can uh, help Precious Plastic with a single donation. You can become a patron and support monthly. And from now on, you can also support Precious Plastic with big development, which means that from now on, you can select different projects that you, you or your organization can support, like making a house from plastic, making a new version of the machine, uh, making new molds. And this really helps Precious Plastic with like big leaps forward. And lastly, we also introduced uh, cryptos as a way to support precious plastics. So if you do have a few cryptos laying around and they're now worth millions, you know what to do. Next, the community platform, our own One Army software project. And this month, Dave and Chris released the, a new website that explained what it is in details. And we launched, we began working on, on the community platform back at the beginning of version four, so about three years ago. And we've, uh, re we've been using it on Precious Plastic for the past two years, and we have about 10,000 users using it. And the goal for this year is to also deploy it to Fixing Fashion, and eventually, next year, also to Project Camp. But the goal of the community platform is really to, to open it up to more open hardware projects out there that are tackling global problems, so that you know, we can... Uh, support communities beyond uh, one army. Now, uh, the, pro the, the website uh, aim is to shine some light on what the community platform is, how it works, all the features, all the help that is needed. Um, so do make sure to, to check it out on platform.onearmy.earth. And if you know how to code and have some time available, do make sure to check out our GitHub or if you know some developer, you know, make sure to send a website so that you know, we can gather a little uh, team around uh, that project and help make it better for One Army projects, but also more importantly for all the other uh, open hardware projects out there that need a software to manage their communities. Okay, next, something that is gonna excite a lot of you engineers out there is the, a new PET nozzle that Peter Bass, which is the engineer that developed the Extrusion Pro for version four, has been working on. So, no point in me explaining that. I'm gonna pass it on to Peter and so he can share with you what he's been working on. Hello, my name is Peter Baskelling from PBS Machinery, based in Zwolle, the Netherlands, and I'm here to tell you about uh, the PET nozzle development I've been doing together with Precious Plastics for the last couple of uh, months, I guess. So, the goal is to develop a nozzle compatible with the, P, with the version 4 extruder, like the Extruder Pro uh, for, from pressure plastics to extrude PET fibers uh, to make like filling and uh, isolation material. So we're using the Extruder Pro together with a special nozzle and an air heater to uh, produce the continuous flow of really small fibers and we collect them on this rotating wheel. So for now we're, going, we're getting these sheets of, uh, of PET fibers which are kind of welded together so it is a solid 
uh, piece, it's like a sheet, and, but it is really bouncy, uh, really light, and it, it contains a lot of air, so uh, yeah, it could be useful as an insulation material or to make panels with for furniture or whatever. So for that part we still need to do a lot of research, but this is how the process is working now and I'm going to show you a little bit of how it works. So how it works, we have a continuous extrusion speed of uh, PET. So the PET comes in this, into this hopper, and it melts here, it comes out in this nozzle, at the end here the tip. At this point, so it comes out here. And there is a continuous flow of uh, hot, com hot compressed air coming out of these holes here. And it comes uh, alongside the melt here and blows it out of the hole here, of the nozzle here. Right now, time for the community news. Starting with these beautiful buttons from uh, Utoplast. Uh, then we have these uh, very beautiful chairs and, and tables from uh, Plastic Rafiki in Kenya. Kat was vi visiting them last uh, couple of months ago. Uh, really exciting project to, to follow. Uh, we have this very beautiful beam table from Lhasa 4. Um, very, very active uh, workspace, was incredibly active during uh, COVID with the face mask, but they keep on creating new product and doing a lot of educational workshops. So really much a workshop to, to check out and to keep an eye on in Spain. Next, we have this inve very inventive and curious photo holder from India. Uh, new products from Still Life. Uh, Still Life makes these incredibly uh, sturdy and beautiful stools. Uh, but now they made this new uh, tool for chefs, and I'm very curious to see how that will be taken on by chefs across the world. Next, Precious Plastic Melbourne. It's always amazing to see what they come up with. In this case, they made this uh, bench top extrusion machine that enables them to do this very beautiful gradient, and is a hand power machine that really gives them the flexibility to take it wherever they want without having to worry about the motor and three phase and so on and so forth. Also very nice to see badges uh, spreading around. I am personally the one sending out badges across the world and I never know if they actually get received. Especially now with COVID, it's been a bit of a mess. And it's nice to see that people are using them on their hats and stuff. Next, this incredibly beautiful and big and massive table from Studio Smelt uh, from Mark and Thomas that was working with us during version four. And they've really been pushing the development of the sheet press uh, further. And now you can see the result with this incredibly beautiful table. And last, this beautiful interior is from Korea. And actually, before we go, there is this very nice uh, documentary that, we, that I will uh, link below from ABC about Zero Waste Australia. And really uh, shine some light on this uh, a couple of guys uh, really dedicating their whole life to recycle plastic in Australia. So make sure to check it out. All right, enough plastic news for now. Let's dive into Project Camp now, the project's prototyping and more sustainable way of living. And ever since beginning the project back, uh, back in 2020, people have been asking to come and help and support the project with their, you know, with their skills and their hands. And I'm happy to tell you that this month, the first ever Project Camp helper has come to Portugal to support Dave and Rita in building uh, this new project. And this is Jan, and he's been tasked with making a compost toilet. Uh, officially marking the end of Dave's poop holes. And if you also want to come and help support the project, make sure to go on uh, support.projectcamp.com and there you can either support with a donation or check out how you know, you, your skills can support the project. And you can either do that on Discord where a very active community is helping each other to find the best ways of building this project or if you have the time, the possibilities and the opportunities, you can come to Project Camp in Portugal and donate some of your time to make this project happen. And this past month, Dave and Rita were busy uh, cleaning up the kitchen, uh, visiting local farmers and uh, researching how to get running water on the land. 
And the first video about cleaning the kitchen got quite some traction on YouTube, uh, being the first video that actually surpassed the 100,000 views, which helps a lot to, to grow the project. And for as much, as much thinking as we put into you know, how to please the YouTube algorithm, uh, sometimes you know, it just happens. And we got some very cool new Project Camp badges. All right, that's it with this month of news. Now I'm off to Portugal to Project Camp for the first ever One Army gathering. So more about that in the next month of news. Bye.